Hi everyone, it's Russell I speaking and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to take uh, this sort of top view and turn it into a drawing, put it in Illustrator, into a template ready for laser cutting. So uh, what we should do first is create a new uh, drawing. So click the button on the top left there, drawing from design and then uh, let's say a3, let's actually give it some more room, a2, slightly larger, we just want plenty of room uh, from scratch, that's all fine, units, millimeters, go OK, and a couple of seconds it'll open it up, and we want, so we can, it's defaulted to front view, so what we want is to get the top view, and then we want it to be one to one, and uh, there we go. Just click and place that in there like that. Go OK. And oh, we've, oh, we've got that put too. OK. Uh, we'll have to delete that when we take it across to Illustrator. So that's the hidden, that was the hidden element. Uh, so go output, output PDF. Uh, all sheets, that's fine. Uh, line weights, go is fine. Go OK, and I'm going to save it in the tutorial folder that I've been working on. I'm call it um, layout from F360. Doesn't really matter what you call it. Uh, we're only using it. Uh, for this next step. Now I'll open up Illustrator and uh, I have created a, uh, actually not created, I've downloaded a template from here. So making UNSW, uh, so if you get design futures lab, bookings, book a machine, laser cutters, uh, here's the template that we want to use for the Speedy 360. Uh, so I just clicked on that, download it, so here it is, I've already downloaded it, uh, so here we go, and then in Illustrator, open it up, and you can see uh, it's got some, some pages to put all of your different laser cutting onto, and it's got, uh, it confirms that we're using the 800 by 500 one, which is good, uh, and it's got some instructions here uh, and key ones. Let's actually just look at it in uh, layer. What I'm going to do first is unlock the template underneath and I'm going to select all of these colors here, which they're telling us to use for different things, whether it's scoring or cutting. And uh, I'm going to go into the uh, swatches, new color group, from selected artwork, go and let's call it laser colors. Go OK, and they're all uh, global colors so you can see, and that's uh, used all of the settings that they wanted us to use. And then one, we need to create one more for the screen. So I'll select that, hit. Uh, actually, I need to draw something first so I can select a line. So I'll come back in a second. Now what I'll do is I'll just go and lock that layer again. And you can see we have... Uh, we're on a drawing layer, which is where they want our stuff. Uh, I'll select. The first step is to draw an outline of the material size we're going to use. Uh, don't need to fill it, so I'll kill that. And this one here, what I want to do is create that green that they mentioned. Uh, so stroke is selected, new swatch, uh, it's an RGB color, which is what we want, global, which is also good. Let's just make that 255, which is uh, what they've said. And then go OK. And... Uh, we can maybe pump that up to one mil so it's easy to see. Minimize the strokes. 
go back to here. So we want to actually make that the size that we want. So go into shape and uh, we want it uh, 400 by I don't want to break that link. That's because it's 400. I don't know why it jumped to 300. And then we want that to be 120. Hit enter. So now we've got ourselves a hold down alt and yep. So that snapped to the corner. So we want to put all of our drawings into here. So if we now uh, bring our drawing in, so I'll just drag and drop. Actually, what I'll do is I'll before I do that, I will lock this layer. Uh, maybe I'll just lock this item on the layer. There we go. So it keeps it on the drawing layer, which is uh, what the workshop people, the staff are expecting. And then uh, I'll drag the PDF into here and I will. Uh, it's a linked file. So I'm going to hit embed, so that's embedded, then you can see it's a group, so I'm going to right click and go ungroup, and then I'm going to, it says clip group, right click and I'll go uh, release clipping mask, and then, what's this one, this is a clipping group as well, so I'm going to right click and go uh, release clipping mask here, and so now, I've got my things as separate items. So I'll go and delete this stuff. Actually, that's all got that together. I have to be a bit careful down around here because I don't want to delete my drawing. I want to just delete those extra bits. Uh, I'll select them all and we want them red and that laser cutting red and we want them all really small so uh, 0 0.001 enter there we go so that's real small bit hard to see now so let's uh, just start arranging these things now I've got to fit all of these into this space looks like it's going to fit okay you start with the big things and then work my way to the smaller things you know how to move things around in Illustrator we might need to that's getting off there that's quite handy that didn't have to rotate them but if I did I would just mouse over the corner hold down shift to snap it to 90. The laser cutter doesn't care if it's 90, but, uh, you know, just makes it a bit neat. Anyway, there we go. So that is, uh, that is arranged and ready to save. And so let's save this as, uh, um, it's not a template anymore. It's like, uh, my name, uh, and then uh, uh, the space between and V01. So uh, if somebody finds this file, they'll at least know where it is. It's mine. If I open it up on a, on a computer that's shared by hundreds of people uh, because they're all using the laser cutter, uh, I can just search for my own name, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, you might put your student ID on there instead. That's a unique number. Uh, so uh, make it easy for yourself and, and give it a title that's going to be easier to find if it's, uh, if it's submerged in a whole bunch of other files. Uh, hit save and uh, we're good to go. Okay, we're good to go. You can open that up on the laser cutter and um, it's not going to cut the green. It is going to cut all of the red and it'll ignore all of the stuff in behind there that we just used as instructions and uh, layout. Great, so uh, thanks for watching and uh, I look forward to seeing what you come up with.